Hey y'all, so we're back again today. I have my microphone on this time, so hopefully you can hear everything I say. But it is the next day after we tore up the spot for our peas. And I don't know if y'all can tell it. Probably not, but it's getting a little dark back there. Looks like we might get some rain. We got a little bit of a shower this morning that no weatherman was calling for that I've seen. So that was kind of a surprise. But I'm going to get the uh, farm all out here. I've got the rolling cultivators on. I may leave them on, just run down the row and see if it'll pull up enough for what I want before I set the planter in the ground. And uh, if not, I'll have swapping points out. But hopefully we can get it all done before we get wet. About a half a bag of fertilizer to put in here, it probably won't take that much. It's just 10, 10, 10, it ain't nothing special. We got our all seed, we're gonna go start planting. I'm gonna show you our setup here real quick. We got a coal planter with a fast hitch. And when they say farmers can fix anything with duct tape, Gorilla Tape is some good stuff because this band broke on me what two years ago and i was in a field trying to plant and i had that in the truck and i fixed it and it has been riding like that ever since one of these days i'll get it in the shop and weld it but this is a good planter it's got a double hopper got your charts for what gears wheels planting plates everything to plant per acre and all that but like I said, start with, I've still got the rolling cultivators on, so I'm going to run down the row one time and see how it does. And I may have to go change these, uh, change these out and put the points on real quick. Well, that ain't good.
very good for you. All right, y'all, that's it for today. That's all I was planning on doing, trying to get these peas in the ground. I got to do the rest of my chores, check on the pigs and chickens and all that stuff. But hope you enjoyed it. It was kind of a rush job because it looked like it was going to rain. And now it's start, starting to look like it's going to clear up. But hopefully it rains this weekend like they are calling for. I've never planted any uh, black-eyed peas before, so we're going to see how this goes. These are supposed to be a bush crop, so I did plant them in rows instead of doing any kind of trellis or anything, but I squeezed in four rows. Now we just wait and see. Y'all have a good one.